In today's video, we're going to cover some of the basic aspects of marketing your medical practice. So we're going to focus primarily on what is marketing, what is not marketing, and why is marketing so critical? If you're a nurse practitioner or other medical professional out there trying to start your own practice, marketing is the absolute most important thing that you can do and you have to do to find success with your practice. So to get some great advice, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Annie De Pasquale. I'm the founder and owner of Collaborating Docs. We help entrepreneurial nurse practitioners get connected to fabulous collaborating physicians. Today's topic is all about marketing. So let's start with the very beginning. What does the dictionary tell us marketing is? So according to good old Miriam Webster, marketing is the act or process of selling or purchasing in a market, thus the word marketing. So when you think about this, think about what is your market? Is it your very local community? Is it your regional area? Is it your whole state, perhaps, if you're doing telemedicine or maybe multiple states if you're doing telemedicine. Second of all, marketing is the process or technique of promoting, selling, and distributing a product or service. If you're running a medical practice, it's a service. So you need to get the word out so people are aware of this service and want to pay money to use this service. So in most basic terms, that's what we all are doing so in a little deeper dive, what is marketing? So it's how you attract customers into the business. And it's the most important, it's the number one function and operation of your business. So you will always be marketing. It does sometimes get easier, especially medical practices. Once you have steady patient flow, maybe you're not even taking on new patients, you can kind of slow it down. But the brand awareness, the brand reputation, all of those things are going to continue forever, regardless of whether your panel is open or not, because you want to maintain at a minimum the good patient panel you have at your base. So what is marketing not? It is not the sales part of what we're doing. Um, it's educating potential clients about the value that you bring to them. And it should not be overly difficult. It does take effort. It does take time. Sometimes it takes money. But once you figure out what works best for you specifically, you just keep it going. You're going to set up the system and keep it going. So it is a lot of trial and error. It is a lot of, well, you know, would publishing something in my church bulletin work better or hanging up signs in my community or giving a talk at the local library, which one ends up actually working best? And then once you find out actually giving the talk at the local library worked really well, in that case, then set up talks at other community events, churches and schools and see how that goes. So you're, you want to be kind constantly testing and trying new things and maintaining the old things that you know work. If the library worked great, go back to the library every month or every two months and add on other similar sort of um, events. So let's break down why this is so critical. Number one, it's how you're going to identify new patients and grow your revenue. Most of us running businesses, the main goal is to be profitable, right? So if it's our, you know, our livelihood, our family is depending on us, we actually need to make money. We most likely are not a charity, most likely are not a nonprofit. There may be some of you out there, but most people need to make at least enough money, even a charity or nonprofit to stay above water. So we need to get the patients in to keep that positive momentum financially moving forward. And then we also need to grow and maintain our reputation, right? So if you are the world's best telepsych provider and you're capped, you have no more room for new patients, you still want, say, for example, reviews online about you and your practice to be positive because that builds the overall strength of your brand and your business. Third, you need to build new relationships 
and strengthen existing ones. I love this one because this can be a great way to collaborate, which we love at Collaborating Docs, but it's it's giving you the tools to connect and network and partner and become affiliates and kind of grow this you know entity much further than your own. So you may partner with a podiatrist or an eye doctor or a physical therapist, and you all are sort of giving and receiving referrals from each other. That's a great way to do marketing from a small new practice. Marketing is going to give you competitive edge over competitors. So let's say you decide to put up a billboard in your small town and it has your picture and the phone number and a little brief description. And then I'm sure you're not the only medical provider in your town, but if you're the only one that took the time, the energy, designed it, paid for it, you're going to stand out above the other practices locally that don't have a billboard like you. Marketing will allow you to consistently engage consumers with content. So a really good way to get prospective patients interested is to give them high, high quality, high, high value information, knowledge, a very easy way to do this is a weekly or monthly newsletter. So you could cover general health topics that appeal to your audience. So if you have a primary care practice, maybe the newsletter has health tips about how to lose weight, how to keep your blood pressure down, how to improve your blood sugar, how to sleep better, de-stress, you know, the list goes on and on. So think about your niche, your audience, what you're offering, and then you give them valuable, valuable content. If someone is giving you that wonderful weekly, bi-weekly, monthly newsletter, and then you get sick, who is front of mind? Well, it's the person that's already been giving me all this free, helpful medical advice. Marketing may inform additional revenue sources. So you may find that having your standalone primary care clinic is all well and good, but to make more revenue, marketing that you offer weight loss or you offer Botox or you offer IV hydration or just some other revenue, maybe it's selling skincare products or diet supplements or vitamins or hair care products, like the list goes on and on. There may be other ways ways to monetize what you're doing through the marketing. So I hope that these tips convince you that marketing is critical. If you are a nurse practitioner starting your own business and you need help finding a collaborating physician, that's what we're here for. Please let us know. I wish everyone the best as they go out and market their medical practice. See you next time. 